Number 51, the antenna's beam width is measured. Ito yung dinidiscuss ko sa inyo kanina. So, yung antenna's beam width daw natin, saan daw na may measure yun? Okay? So, if this is your radiation pattern, paano natin na may measure yung beam width natin? If this is the peak point, na may measure yan on the negative 3 dB. Yan. Okay? Yan yung beam width mo ngayon. Sa negative 3 dB. At pag sinabi mong negative 3, pag sinabi kasing 3 dB, that's twice. But if that is negative 3, ibig sabihin half kalahate. So, obviously, the answer here is letter C. Between half power points. That's how you measure the beam width of uh, the antenna. Okay? Number 51, letter C is the correct answer. 52. Calculate the energy per bit to noise density ratio in dB for a noise system with 62 dBm received signal power and a bit rate of 50 Mbps. Now, you will notice here, may, may mali dito sa tanong eh, no? Bakit? Kasi sabi niya, calculate the energy per bit to noise density ratio. Okay? But if you look at the choices, Ang nasa choices natin, ang unit is joules. At ano ang joules? Ang joules is basically um, unit of energy. Okay? Unit ng energy siya. Hindi siya energy per bit to noise density ratio in dB. Pero ito ay unit ng energy. Kaya ang kakalkulahin nyo lang dito, ang kakalkulahin lang natin dito is actually the energy per bit. Okay? At paano natin ito ikinocompute? Energy per bit is simply the receive the signal power over the uh, bit rate. Ganun lang siya kadali. Okay? So, ano ba yung receive signal power natin? Naka, ano siya eh? Naka DBM siya. So, we have to convert this first to uh, power in watts. Okay? So, pag na-convert na natin yan, this will be the given. Teka muna, sir, bakit nangyari na ito ay negative? That is because it is a received signal power. At ang hindi ka makaka-receive ng 62 dBm na power. That will be very high. No? And uh, dapat yan negative dahil that is a received signal power already. It na nag-undergo na yan ng ng attenuation. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, negative yung nasa, ano natin, nasa uh, equation natin. Okay? Okay, now, tuloy natin ito. The received power will be 631 picowatts. So, we already have the received power. And then, if we're going to compute for the energy per bit, that will be 631 pico picowatts over 50 megabits per second. So the energy of uh, energy per bit is 0 0.013 times 10 to the negative 15 joules and obviously that is letter A for number number 52. Okay? Number 53 the common light used in fiber optic links is what? Okay? Infrared, red, violet, or ultraviolet. This is very obvious. Napakadali nito. Na? The answer here is we don't use the ultraviolet. Ultraviolet is basically used in uh, electronics production, especially in semiconductors. Hindi ginagamit ito sa fiber optics. Not violet, of course. This is, this is uh, visible light. Red is visible light also. We use the infrared for fiber optic links. So letter A. 54. It is the empirical record of a system's actual bit error performance. What do, we, what do we call this? That's the bit error rate, the BER. Okay, the empirical record of a system's actual bit error performance. Okay, that's number 54. Let's move on to number 55. It refers to the rate of change of a signal on a transmission medium after encoding and modulation have occurred. What's this? The rate of change of a signal on a transmission medium after encoding and modulation have occurred. The answer is letter B, BOD. BOD is the symbol per 
unit time. And take note, baud is the uh, unit at the output, meaning ito na nga, no? after, sabi nyo, after encoding and modulation have occurred. So that is baud. Ang, ang rate of change naman at the input, that is bitrate. Okay, so bitrate is at the input, baud is at the output.